Hello everyone, this is Kathleen with Be Again Books, and I'm so glad to be here today to show you the finished Stylewise Steampunk Journal. So this is how it's turned out, the cover. I've added this jeans button and the beaded elastic closure. It has, looks like three charms and some fibers here poking out the front edge. I like that, and a couple poking out the top. I've got this pretty little um, metal piece here to embellish this element. There's three signatures. It's a recycled Reader's Digest cover. Let's go inside and see what I've managed to do. We have a pocket here in the front and a couple of pieces of just journal cards, handmade ephemera, this beautiful um, Graphics 45 paper, some rickrack, another tag, some antique ledger. Here's our our little steampunky guy, James Russell Lowell, sporting a bowler hat. Some filigree. Is this an early steam transportation? Here's just a little envelope for some hidden journaling. Coffee dyed paper. Here is the first of my rusty um painty papers that we did a video on that with a pretty tag. An envelope that I did painting on. And a cute steampunk charm. Here is that pretty um, rusted paper here in the center of the signature. Just a little digital tag and a little Tim Holtz tag ticket. More journaling papers here and a little corner tuck with a prescription. ribbon there. Here's the other part of that. It's kind of fragile so I reinforced it with washi tape. Here's our riveted belly band and the journaling card that we made together. A tag and another tag. This is I think my favorite element in the whole book, some watch parts. My friend Zora gave me a whole little box of old watch parts. Thank you, Zora. I appreciate that. And I've just used some of those to create this little embellishment here in the corner. Another little tag. Plenty of place to write. Here's just a little flip here and here's a double pocket and a couple of little pieces of ephemera. This is the, the little flip pocket that I showed you. So it's a tuck here in the back for papers. Then this flips up and here's just a little piece of ephemera there in that pocket. This is a hidden pocket here in back of that. And then this pulls out for journaling. Tucks in there and this folds down. This is an old, um, I think it's still a reproduction, but it's vintage now, a reproduction of the Sears and Roebuck catalog. And I have a, just a 
a little journal card there with that flag. This is really cool. This is from 1895. It was a whole sheet of original um, stock stock certificates. Yeah. It has uh, made a little pocket there. It's the center of the first signature. We've made this together the other day, this pocket. This is a computer punch card vintage. More journaling. Here's the other side of the stock certificates. It's um, capital stock in a railroad. There's another pocket here. Just this little cluster. And here is our um, over the page clip. So there's a pocket there, just a paper to journal. And on this side is just a little... Um, Forged steel. It's out of an old um, catalog for steel. And this just fits right around that page and clips on with this another rusted paper clip. Everything about her was exotic. This is some new stock invitation that that I bought at a thrift store, a whole little stack of them. It's really stiff, very elegant, feels wonderful. It's going to be fun to write on, I think. And another, just a little tag with a, some tissue that I decoupaged on there. It's a little, this is actually an old typewriter ribbon that I have made a bunch of little stamps all together on that journal card. A little ticket, vintage ticket, and a vintage playing card. It's in that pocket. More journaling papers. This one is another little fold-up pocket there. This is a pocket. I haven't put anything in it because I wanted to show these these funny little wasp waist ladies. Yeah. The graphics 45 paper. It's a little piece of vintage ephemera. And here is a little place for that fun um, playing card, gear playing card from, from Diane Hubert. Thanks again, Diane. It's a, a charm here. This is an envelope. So it has this pretty butterfly with some gears here and room to put something in that envelope. Fiber, more journaling papers. And here's our pretty um, butterfly page. Yeah, I love that page. Painty paper on this side, the rusted paper, and another tag. This little corner pocket with gear details there. A little early steamship canal boat. And here's this pocket.
pocket that I made with these little steampunky flowers. So much handmade ephemera in this book. I just robbed my stash and took almost everything. Here's the patina paper, painting paper, and I made this little peekaboo pocket. And this is just fancy fold journal paper. And you can see the little clock hand on the butterfly's belly and a little jewel there for the head. The little tag, this flips out and there's this pocket here. This is some vintage railroad ephemera. There's another little vintage playing card and just a little journal card. Here is our little extreme cutout pocket with all the little clock parts, moving parts here. That's so fun. Just a little journal paper. We made that together. I love this tag, one of my favorite tags. I used one of the images from that railroad book that I showed you some weeks ago and just made this little collage tag. And, and this also, steampunky gentleman and a pocket watch. Flip out with a hot air balloon, another flip out. some ledger paper there and finally just some leftover rusty painted paper for journaling in this final pocket. Here's the back and the back cover. That's it. I like the way it's turned out. Thanks so much for being with me today taking a look at this final journal. This journal will be listed on Etsy and then I'll be back with another video.